How do guys, it's Luke at Luke's APS and in this video, I'm gonna do a video showing you how to stop frosting up your models when you're spraying with varnish. I'll see you after this. So guys, this is a topic that's been asked quite a few times. Um, I've been asked it on my Luke's APS Hangouts and Discussion page. And at the beginning of this week, I set up Patreon. Um, and it's been a topic that's been raised in there as well. Um, so I thought I'd cover it and just let you guys know how I get around it. I've only ever experienced frosting once. And the, the only reason it frosted on me is I didn't let the, un, the, the, the last coat finish to dry and that did react. But what I thought I'd do is I'd, the first part of this video is I thought I'd try and make it frost up. See if we can deliberately make it frost up on camera doing everything wrong. I thought that'd be interesting to see what we could find. So here's what we did first. So to show you what you shouldn't do, first I grabbed my models, I grabbed the can straight off the shelf. That can must have been sat there three, four months. I hadn't varnished any models for ages. So it's been laid down on its side, not been used for a really, very long time. It has been inside, but it hasn't been shook up and it hasn't been warmed. It hasn't been, I've done nothing to the can. First thing to, I do as well is I spray it awfully close and I apply far too much. The first problem you'll get from spraying far too much on is one, it's a stupidly thick coat, but two, it won't be matte. When that dries, it'll be very glossy. Don't ask me why, because I don't know, uh, but a lot of people that say they've bought a matte varnish and they sprayed it on and it's not matte, it's normally because you've put too much on. So as you can see, there's some slight frosting starting to happen and that's from applying a very thick coat. Now, while that frosting's there, I thought I'll try and get rid of the frosting by spraying it hard again with far too much varnish again and trying to get rid of the, the frosting. That seemed to tame down the frosting and get rid of it. So if you do have this issue, spray it again as quick as possible and it should get rid of the frosting. However, on the second spray, it wasn't fully cured. So I'd sprayed again over the top, trying to make it react and trying to make it far worse. See if I could get that frosting to go from a little bit to a complete frosting. Didn't work, it cured it. But however, the model's absolutely caked in varnish and now that's probably gonna take a good few hours to dry. <laughs> um, I wouldn't advise doing it this way at all. Um, as you can see, glossy, it doesn't look good, it's filled all the detail in. However, that paint will never come off um, once it's dry. Now, I thought I'd try something different. A lot of people when they're saying varnish and everything else, saying you need the perfect weather conditions to do it in. So I thought I'd take these models outside. See how committed to these videos I am? I'm gonna go out in rain to see if that makes it all misty and get speckly white bits on. I don't know whether it's going to work. I've never sprayed in the rain before, but let's see. It's chuffing, throwing it down. Oh, before I go outside, I'm going to need a coat on. Great, let's get outside. Well, that doesn't seem to have worked, so that were a waste of bloody time. Right, so as you saw, that really didn't do anything for us whatsoever, apart from get me wet. Um, one thing I'd like to clarify though, I still haven't shaken the can. I still haven't um, warmed the can up. I've still not done anything that you're supposed to do, and I'm really struggling to get it frosting. So by this time, I thought I can't be bothered. Um, if, if I'm trying to make it frost, I'm doing everything you shouldn't do, then I don't know how I can help people. However, what I can do is show you how to do it properly, which should stop it from happening. So the first thing you need to do is warm the can up. Now, don't be an idiot. <laughs> don't put it in the, um, in the microwave. Don't put it on the stove. Don't chuck it in a fire. Just put it in your sink with some warm water straight out of the tap. If your hot water tap is like a boiling tap or it's a very high temperature, Add a bit of cold, use your common sense, okay? But just warm this can to a, just above room temperature, leave it in there for a couple of minutes, and that helps the paint and all the 
uh, pumice and everything else in the matte varnish to mix better. Now, shaking it up. Now, I'm going to do this in real time. Now, shaking is a massive, massive importance with varnishes and spray cans in general. When people say I've shaken it, you need to shake it. I shake cans for around 60 seconds after they've been warmed. Um, if you're not going to warm the can because you can't bother or you're unable to at the time, make sure you shake this for three, four times longer. Um, but shaking the can up is a massive, massive importance. Especially when you're finishing your models and you're putting a varnish on, you want to make sure that this does not go wrong. So make sure you shake the living hell out of that can. Now for applying your varnishes, don't do a, a static spray on each model. What you need to be doing is short, sharp, left and right sprays. With it being matte varnish, you don't want to put too much on at all. Spray from around eight, nine inches away in short, sharp, left and right movements. And just dust the models, let that dry and keep reapplying until you've got enough on. But do let that dry in between because sometimes if the model's not dry underneath, you will get a reaction and you will get the frosting. So that's how you apply it properly. So as you can see, once I've got the varnish on them, they're pretty nice. Now this spray can that I have used costs £2.30. Paint Factory are my go-to spray cans because they're so cheap. Now there's gonna be a couple of you uh, people watch this channel going, now Luke, that's definitely not matte, that's a satin finish. Well, it's not a satin as satin uh, as my satin cans. It is, it's not true matte, but it's matte enough. I, I, I kind of like, matte in between matte and satin um, the reason why i like that is it it can hide some flaws in your painting as well if you go ultra matte like if you're using the anti shine from army painter or if you're using like the ultra matte from ak interactive they are super matte and if you if you aren't a precise painter an ultra matte finisher brings out all the flaws so having something that's not super matte can help your appearance out. And these cans that I use, if applied correctly, like just not too much matte varnish on there, you'll get a nice muted finish that appears matte as long as you're not under heavy lighting. Okay, I hope this video helps um, because I know it's one of them things that a lot of people get wrong. We'll clear up before we finish. Warm the can, shake the can properly for a very long time, about a minute if it's warm, about three to four minutes if it's not warmed. When you're spraying it on, short, sharp, left and right passes. The reason we do this is so you don't put too much spray on the model. If you spray the model like this, just standing still static, you'll get too much matte varnish on there. And then when that dries, it will, it'll appear glossy. And to finish off, let them cure in between each misting. So if you do a mist left and right, you do two or three times, give them two to three hours to dry before you apply your next, uh, your next lot. And that way you won't have an issue. Also bear in mind when you paint your miniatures, give them 24 hours or so to properly cure before you apply the varnish. So guys, I hope this video helps. This is one of the, probably one of the most <laughs> di directional videos I've ever done on how to do something properly um, but yes these are just cheap spray cans and if I try to make them frost and I can't make them frost it's even the quality of the cheap spray cans which I know some of you in the comments might not say the good quality because they're cheap however they are um, <laughs> and yeah just I'm what how I've taught myself to spray must mean that I get very less errors. I've been talking to a few people like Travis Reeves. Um, he's never had it happen. He doesn't understand how it happens. Um, I've only ever had it happen once and that was with a Citadel uh, Ultra, or whatever they call it, hard coat. And the second time I did it, I warmed it, I shook it up. It never did it again. So it must be to do with the matting agent in the varnishes, like the pumice or the catalc, whatever they use to mat them down, that's just not mixed properly. However, weathering conditions like extreme heat could cause it to dry before it hits the model, which is the same with spray paint. You get the same issue. So if it is very hot, just spray a bit closer. But I don't live in really terrible climate, so it's a bit different for me to say. If you are in America or if you are in some really hot, stupid climates, 
How do you get around these problems? Put it in the comment below. But anyway guys, if you do like these videos, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Keep me doing these videos, keep buying my products and everything else. All the links to my shop are below. I also have Patreon. If you want to have a look at that, just have a look in there. But for everything else, guys, I'll see you for the next video, um, which will be next Friday. Love you all. Love, love, love.